Hello, this is the Watchdog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today, we're going to review the Begai Design PD-1751 homage to the new Tudor Ranger. Let's start out with the wrist check. I'm wearing the Spalgella 22803 homage to a Tissot PRX chronograph. And Greg was wearing my Sonobi S9870G. Grogu said Master Skywalker hired Maz Kanata to supply grain to the Jedi Academy. Master Skywalker asked her what experience she had, and she says she used to supply grain to the Jedi High Council during the Clone Wars and dealt with Master Ki Adi Mundi, who paid her with pork feathers instead of credits, which she then sold to the residents of Hoth to make jackets. She said grainy bays for Mundi always got her down. All right, let's take a look at the watch. Comes in this... Typical Pagani Design snapper box. Once again, we get their world's best cleaning cloth. And, oops, sorry. Anyway, this one came with a little tiny screwdriver. And let's just, enough of the box. I have the unboxing video if you care. And here's the watch. Isn't that a nice looking watch? I really like it. Last year, Tudor released the Ranger, which is basically their version of the Explorer. There really hasn't been much love in the AliExpress homage world. We have this Pagani design for around $100, and there's also a San Martin for twice as much. Oddly enough, even though the Tudor is a 39mm, both homages are 36mm, which is the current size of the Explorer. I'm not sure what the reasoning was for this decision, especially since both companies make Explorer homages at 39mm. You might assume this is a Pagani Design PD-1716 with a different dial and hands, and you are probably right about the watch head, but the bracelet is totally different. There is only one colorway for this Ranger homage with the Fotina hands and indices, which is different than the Tudor, which has cream colored. At the time I ordered it, there was only a bracelet option. I looked the other day, and now for an extra $15, you can include an additional leather strap. The watch is 36.4 millimeters at the bezel, 44.3 millimeters lug to lug with inverted end links. It's 13.5 millimeters thick, but as you can see, a lot of it is this dome crystal. Has a 20 millimeter lug width and weighs 123 grams on the supplied bracelet with two links removed. The bezel is a smooth polished. And the dial is a flat black with no sunburst effect. And then we have the Pagani Design logo, which is applied and no name Pagani Design though. Then it says automatic and 200 meters of water resistance, which is more than most Pagani Design dive style watches. Then for the indices, we have 12, 3, 6, and 9 for the majors and batons for the minors. Uh, that's one thing about a Ranger, which is different than an Explorer. An Explorer has an upside down triangle where the 12 is, where the Ranger says 12. And then we have a chapter ring with minute markers. And this being a Ranger homage, there is no date. Sometimes Pagani Design will put a date on a watch anyway, even though the watch it is homaging does not have a date. In this case, they did not which is good because I think it looks good with the three and the nine. I think a date would have ruined the look. Then for the hands, we have the typical fence post hand for the minute hand. And then for the hour hand, we have the spear tip, which is what they use, Tudor uses for the hour hand of the Ranger. So Pagani Design decided we're going to homage this. We're going to homage it right, and we're going to do the same hour hand. Now, I do not blame Pagani Design for this at all. I think it was the right decision on their part. But I really wish Tudor would have went with the snowflake hand for the hour hand. I just prefer it. But that's not a big deal. Once again, Pagani Design, kudos for sticking with this hour hand because it makes it look like a ranger. Then for the second hand, we have a little red tip on there. Then the loomed lollipop well it's not really a lollipop but the loom tip and then the red tip i think it looks really nice then plus uh, all the indices and the hands are loomed uh, we'll do a loom test later once again this is pagani design though so don't expect anything wonderful we have a signed crown the crown's a little small but 
it still works fine comes uh, pops nicely and uh, you got good thread action the threads catch right away when you go to screw it back down and then uh, once again it's signed there with the Bugain Design logo then the crystal is a dome sapphire as you can see the dome is pretty significant it sticks out well above the bezel and uh, it's sapphire so you're gonna get reflection that's just the nature of the beast and I uh, but it does a pretty good job I mean yeah you see the light above my my office light you see pretty easily but just uh, when the light's not reflecting on it directly it, it does a really pretty good job of not being too reflective I like it then the case is a solid stainless steel we got polished edges then brush tops and bottoms we have a display case back and if you look at the sides here kind of hard to see because it's kind of small we got the beguine design name right there and then it says diver 200 meter at least it doesn't say divers because divers would indicate ISO 6425 certification which this does not have I don't know why it says diver though because this is not a dive style watch and then here it gives the model number PD1751 then underneath the case back is the NH35 movement this is the go-to workhorse movement of watches in this price range it's a 24 joule 3 hertz movement that hand winds hacks and has a bi-directional rotor and they're usually fairly accurate right off the shelf so let's go ahead and put it on the time grapher and look at it here it is on the time grapher as you can see it's running very accurate only plus two but there's quite a bit of beat error so that's why you see two lines on the screen but still plus two you can't ask for much better than that especially on a watch at this price the bracelet is an oyster style with solid inverted end links and everything's brushed except for the sides are polished then we have a Rolex style clasp even though this is a Tudor homage normally I don't like this style clasp on anything other than a Rolex homage but if you look at the the actual Tudor the clasp is very similar to this a little bit more than most Tudors so I'll give it a pass in this case my biggest complaint about a Rolex style clasp is the fact that the micro adjusts are too, so hard to use because you have to get a tool in there it's just a pain now if it has glide lock which this one does not then I, I just I'm perfectly fine with the Rolex style now it does have the easy link so you can uh, always uh, pull it out just a little bit if you need to and also the bracelet does have screw pins which is why it came with a little screwdriver one nice thing about Pagani Design screw pins is the heads are nice and big, so it's not usually not that difficult to get a screwdriver in there. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. It's a very nice looking watch. And it wears nice. It's not too heavy, it sits nice and flat. It is a little chunky though. It's pretty thick for a 36 millimeter watch but tutors which it is homaging tend to be a little chunky anyway uh 36 millimeters i wish they would have went with 39 because it just seems a little small for me but some people might really like this size i mean it's a nice looking watch i just wish it was a 39 millimeter here we are in the loom room just wearing the watch i knew the loom wasn't any good but if loom is really important to you you are probably not watching this video as we speed up the time, the second hand is the first to go. Everything else is fading pretty fast, and like most Pagani design, the hands fade before the indices. Although the hands aren't that much weaker than the indices. What do I like about this watch? Well, I really like the Fotina hands and indices. I think they look better than the real Ranger, which is more of a cream color. I really like this dome sapphire crystal. It really stands out. 
And I like the fact that it has inverted end links. Those are always welcome. What are my gripes and groans? I wish it was a 39 millimeter like the real Ranger. And this isn't a gripe and groan of Pagani Design, but of Tudor. I just wish they would go with the snowflake hand. I just don't like this spear hour hand. And lousy loom. I even wrote lousy loom before I even tested it because I just knew it was going to be lousy. Do I recommend this watch? Yes, it wears great, looks great, is solidly built, and I've really enjoyed my time with this watch, and I'm going to be sad when I sell it. I have no experience with the San Martin equivalent, but since it has the same movement, I find it hard to believe it is twice as good as this watch, although I have no doubt that the loom is better. Well, thank you for watching my review of the Pagani Design PD 1751, homage to the Tudor Ranger, and I will be back with another review. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.